Welcome to your course tour of environmental science for the AP course third edition. Thank you for selecting this book to use in your classroom. This book was created for the high school AP environmental course and our goal is to partner with you to provide the tools to boost students' interest in AP environmental science and instill lifelong critical thinking skills. Our goals for today's session are to make sure that you are well prepared for using environmental science for the AP course. This in-service is designed to introduce you to the pedagogy of the student edition and give you the opportunity to take an in-depth look at other resources that came along with your new textbook. Please note, the advice in this video series serves only as a starting point. As you become more familiar with the textbook, the suggestions made may or may not apply to your unique teaching needs. Before we get started, let's review the materials you have received with your order. If you have ordered at least a class set, you should have received a teacher's edition, an exam view test bank, a teacher's resource flash drive. It is possible that you received a URL and password to download the materials on the flash drive digitally versus receiving an actual flash drive. Please note too that some components such as eBooks, Launchpad, Sapling, and the Strive for a Five Student Workbook are not automatically added to your adoption. These components require additional purchases. If there is anything you have not received, please contact your local sales representative. We also offer every teacher access to our Classroom Compass site. This site provides an opportunity for additional training and information. At BFW, we love to hear all about the different ways you use our book in the classroom. Please log into our site at classroomcompass.bfwpub.com and join our discussion boards to share ideas, strategies with your colleagues and also the textbook authors. We also recommend that you familiarize yourself with the breakdown of the key ideas along with the percentage goals of the AP exam. This breakdown will be useful for your students as they are completing the AP exam review. This textbook is organized closely around the College Board curriculum. Every item on the topic outline is examined in the text, and the text uses the same terminology, languages, and formulas that your students will see on the exam. The text is organized by chapter and then by modules. Modules are shorter chunks that you can cover in one to two class periods. You can rearrange the modules based on how you prefer to teach the environmental science course. Each chapter opens with a case study. The case study is a direct connection to the subject matter in the chapter. For example, chapter 11, Feeding the World, focuses on where do farm animals do the most of the work? You can use this case study to introduce the topic to your students. Some teachers like to have their students read and write a reaction to the case study. At the beginning of each module, you will find a list of learning goals that will help keep your students focused. The learning objectives also correlate to the AP curriculum. Have your students create a journal. Every time you complete a module, have your students work collaboratively to answer the learning objective. Then students can use the learning objectives to review for the AP exam towards the end of the year. Another idea is to have your students put the learning objectives on flashcards. At the end of each chapter, students can use the learning goals to review for their chapter quizzes or unit tests. The Do the Math boxes are available to help your students meet the challenges of an AP Environmental Science math problems. It will show your students the math skills they need to tackle these problems. At the end of the Do the Math box is a Your Torn Practice Problem for your students to do in class. Some ideas to incorporate the do the math boxes in the classroom are, take 20 minutes at the beginning of the class to complete a do the math box. Have the do the math boxes typed out on a Word document. Pass the documents out to each student without letting them see the solution. Once they finish the problem, have your students exchange papers and work through the math problems. You can use your textbook as your solution. 
You can also use the 10 math videos found on the flash drive to help prepare students for the exam. The math videos show math problems and you can pause the videos during the class time as students have questions. Students can come up to the whiteboard and they can work out the solutions together. At the end of each module is a review, which includes AP multiple choice review questions. These are great ideas to use the model review questions as homework, and they are a great way to review should you offer quizzes in your class. At the end of each chapter, we revisit the learning objectives and short summaries for your students. At the end of each chapter, we also provide you with more AP questions in the form of AP practice exams that include both multiple choice and free response questions. These end of chapter reviews for homework is really great the night before their test. Students can come in the next day and you can provide 10 minute review sessions focused on these going over any multiple choice questions or free response answers. If you don't have enough time to go over these, have the students select which ones they would like to review in class. And try to select questions that are similar to test questions to reward the students who put in a good effort the night before your test. We also have the end of unit practice exams, which are cumulative exams, again, offering it in the AP style format. These are great ideas to use to give to your students during long breaks, such as spring break. Since most spring breaks do happen in March or April, it's a great time to review since the AP exam is during the first week of May. Working towards sustainability sections are found in every chapter of the textbook. They are short but very powerful stories and facts that help students appreciate a larger picture of environmental science. You can assign these for homework or use them during class time. Each working towards sustainability has two critical thinking questions that you can have your students answer. Read it with your students and see how they react. This is a great conversation starters to engage your students in the classroom. There are science applied sections, about one per unit. The science applied are also a great resource for teachers and students. The one in unit eight titled, Can We Solve the Carbon crisis using cap and trade is one that's very interesting because a lot of the students don't have an idea of what cap and trade mean. Not only defines the terms, but brings idea to students about how our government uses policy. And then it brings discussion to the concerns over using cap and trade. Let's take a look at your wraparound teacher's edition. The teacher's edition contains all the entire student edition with answers, activities, and teaching tips in the margin. At the beginning of each chapter, you will find a few planning pages. These pages contain everything you need to know to teach the chapter of the textbook. Each chapter contains a professional development video overview, which can be found online or in the teacher resource flash drive. It also shows how the text aligns to the College Board course description and lists out the tap chapter learning objectives. The planning pages before each chapter are very vital. Make sure you read through them as it will help you devise your plan of attack. Watch the PD video first to get an idea of what module focuses on and then move to the pacing guide to see how fast you need to teach the material. Remember there are PowerPoint presentations per chapter do the math videos, lab activities, and practice multiple choice and free response questions. Make sure you look at what free response questions you have used in the past. You can go to College Board's AP Environmental One website to grab past free response questions to use 
with your own quizzes and tests. And please don't forget to read through the chapter learning objectives. They will help you stay focused on the main concepts in each module. In the margins of the Wraparound Teachers Edition, you will find many different callouts or bucket items. The most common one would be the teaching tips. Let's take a look at some of these in the chapter. Teaching tips are placed throughout the chapter to help you with your planning. These teaching tips include suggestions for warm up exercises, discussion starters, activities, how to engage students, video links, concept maps, debating the issue, connections, review, and beyond the classroom. Here are a few teaching tips that you can use as homework or in class activity. We include some warm up exercises that are great for the first few minutes of class and journal prompts and concept maps that make great assignments as well as helping your kids improve their writing skills. Many times AP exam tips indicate an area of the text that relates to a past college board free response question, or in this example gives teachers hints on how the free responses are graded. As teachers go through the teacher's edition for the first time, I would use a highlighter to mark the ones that fit your teaching style the best. The next year, it's easier to have an idea of which marginal content worked best for your teaching style. Also, there's so much information in each chapter, you may not have enough time to do them all in class. So picking and choosing the best materials that fit your teaching style is a great way to start. Remember, the AP environmental exam is the first week of May, and getting through all the material in an efficient manner is not always easy, especially if you run into lots of snow days and other school activities that affect class time. The Teacher's Resource Flash Drive contains all of your res additional resources. I've listed them above. This is a valuable resource that should be kept in a safe place. You can also download these resources from our password protected site. Thank you so very much for being a part of our AP Environmental Science third edition course tour. If you have any questions about any of the materials that you may not have received, please contact your sales representative. If you have any questions about the material presented in this video, please email high school PD at bfwpub.com. Thank you very much for your time.